Hey, welcome to another episode of Cocktail Hour with Bourbon Moth. For this episode, I've taken this social distancing thing probably a little too serious, and I am in the middle of the woods in the Pacific Northwest to make a cocktail for you. Now this drink you probably haven't heard of because, well, I made it up myself. So here's what you're gonna need in order to make what I like to call the due diligence. You're gonna need a bottle of Telmore Dew Irish whiskey. Now let me give you a little pro tip when it comes to buying whiskey in the liquor store. There's usually two options. There's a big bottle and there's a smaller bottle. Always buy the bigger bottle. The reason being, well, the bigger bottle's got more alcohol in it. <laughs> so it just kind of makes sense. So Telmore Dew Irish Whiskey, you're gonna need a bottle or two of a handcrafted cream soda. Make sure you get a small batch handcrafted soda. Better ingredients, it's obviously gonna taste better and make a better cocktail. For this, we're using Virgil's cream soda. You're gonna want some simple syrup, a few limes, and this is very important, you want fresh sprigs of rosemary. Don't use any of that dried, powdered crap that you find in your herb cabinet. You want fresh rosemary. It is gonna taste so much better in your drink. So, this is how you make the due diligence. You're gonna to wanna to take a lime and slice it right in half. Then you're gonna set aside one half of that lime and juice the other half. You're gonna need one ounce of lime juice for the due diligence. So, we're gonna measure out one ounce of lime juice. Perfect. And we're gonna add that to our cocktail shaker. Then we're gonna set our shaker aside for just a second, and I like to use a mortar and pestle to grind up my rosemary. You don't have to do it this way. You can just muddle it in the bottom of the cocktail shaker, but I feel like you get a little bit more flavor out of the rosemary if you smash it up in the mortar and pestle first and then muddle it a little bit in the cocktail shaker. So if you don't have a mortar and pestle, don't let that stop you. You can just muddle it, but since I have one, we're gonna do it this way. So add all the petals of one sprig of rosemary into the mortar and pestle and just give it a good mashing. You're not trying to completely like disintegrate this down to a paste or anything. You're just opening up those leaves to get out some of those juices that are gonna infuse our lime juice with that rosemary flavoring. Then we are going to take all that mashed up rosemary, add it to our cocktail shaker with our lime juice. And for good measure, we're just gonna kind of muddle that together a little bit. Just make sure that that rosemary is infused into the lime juice very nicely. Just a little bit. All right, let's get some booze in here. Then we're gonna take two ounces of Telmore Dew. I don't know if you realize this, but this is where it gets the name, the due diligence. Add that to the cocktail shaker. Then we are going to take three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Measure that out. Put that in there as well. Add a little bit of ice. Just a handful is plenty. Put our lid on and shake. I always make this space when I shake. I feel like it makes me look cool. All right, then we're gonna take that out. You're gonna want a Collins glass or something similar to it. You're gonna fill that halfway up with ice. Woo, ice everywhere, just like that. Then with a strainer, cause you kinda wanna strain out most of those rosemary particles that are floating around in there. It's okay if you have a few. You're gonna pour that in. Now if you've measured correctly, it shouldn't fill up the whole glass. It should be like about three quarters of the way full, just like that. Then you're gonna to wanna to take your bottle of cream soda and you're just gonna to top it with the cream soda. It's basically about two ounces of cream soda that you're putting in there, just like that. Then you're gonna take the other half of your lime and you're gonna cut a nice full round off of it. Just like that. And then you can take a little sprig of rosemary and clean off some of the lower leaves on it and stick it right through the middle, as you can see there. And we're just gonna float that right on top. And there you have it, a due diligence. Hot dang, if that isn't delicious. Now you guys know how to do it, the due diligence, get the ingredients, go make your own. 
And don't forget, subscribe to my channel. We're gonna do a monthly drink video along with all of our other normal woodworking videos and, you know, stupid videos that do nothing for society. But they're fun and funny to watch, so click that subscribe button. I'm just gonna be here, drinking alone, in the woods. <laughs>